What's up everybody? Transworldsurf.com here on location at Haliva. 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 Haliva to you too. <laughs> right, Craig, Jay Davies, and uh, this is kind of special. We had some people email in some questions just for you two guys. I must feel kind of special. Oh, uh, that's of course. I feel very privileged. All right, all right. Well, let's just get right into this. Um, I guess this one's for both of you. This is from Kanoa in Honolulu. You like beef? I love beef, Kanoa. All right. I like chicken. Nah, beef's good too. Okay, good answer. Um, Lucas in New Jersey says, do you guys make a lot of money? Um, yeah, squillions. No, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> uh, yeah, what do you think? Uh, Lucas in New Jersey wants to know, do you make a lot of money, Jay? Not enough. Uh, I would love to make a lot more. Good answer. Uh, you guys are rifling right through this. What were we going to say? Mm, lots of rupee. About a thousand rupee, I think. Yeah. So if you were in uh, in Bali, you'd be Killing pretty. That. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. This is this is actually a really good question for the uh, surfers out there. Uh, Mark in Huntington Beach wants to know: If you could only have three boards in your quiver, what would they be? Uh, a dwart, a six three short board, and a mini mal. Okay. Okay. Three boards in your quiver, Rye. What are they going to be? Three boards, yeah, a little fishy thing, just for the small days. Um, a normal short board for the normal days, and then a bigger board for the big days. Okay, very conclusive, I like that. Um, this one's for Jay. This is Jessica in California says, would you like to be my personal trainer and what would we do? Um, I would be your personal trainer if you'd like. Um, probably do some squats. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'd have to see how you looked. Okay, yeah. So, you know, just you judge your body type yeah. so you can tell what exercises to do. Exactly. All right. Um, this one's for Rye. This is Steve in Florida says, What's the meaning behind the title? There's no I in Go Rye. That's your uh, new surf flick that's come out uh, a couple months ago. Yeah, yeah, well the whole meaning behind it is, um, I guess it's like there's no iron team, you know, travelled around just with all my mates and wanted to have all my mates in the video too, so, and my nickname's Go Ra just because, I don't know, the boys just called me that since I was young, and yeah, there's no iron Go Ra. Yee! Alright, so yeah, I like that, I like that. Alright, so we've got, got a couple more quick questions and then we're going to get to the uh, contest coming up. Um, do you ever go right, Rye? Trying to a lot more, actually. Actually enjoying it, going right, yeah. All right, you enjoy going both ways. Appreciate that. Jay, uh, you're like six foot three, but you've been riding a five four lately. What's uh, what's the story with that? Uh, I don't know the story with that. It's just a little dwart. It wasn't really shaped for me. It was shaped for like a kid, this guy, Jake Sharp, from uh, Coss Harbour in Australia, and he's... He didn't take it out, so I stole it off him, and um, yeah, it ended up going really well. And I don't know, it's just it goes. Spell spell dwart because I I don't understand what what you're D saying there. It's D W A R T. Oh, like a dart dwarf dart. Yeah. A dwarf dart. All right. Well, that's been fun. Thank you guys for sending your questions. Um, so you guys are here for the Vulcan Pipeline Pro. Um. Give me your thoughts. It's your first contest ever at Pipe. You know, we talked earlier. You've only had a couple sessions out there. So, uh, what are you, what are your feelings going into this contest? Yeah, well, you know, I was stoked when I seen that Vulcan were going to do this contest at Pipe because if I could get a spot in it, I'd get to surf Pipe with three other guys out, and that's pretty much the only chance I'm ever going to get to get a bomb out there. So, come over and you know, taking that chance up and the swell is pretty big today so tomorrow I could be pumping. Oh, you'll be woken up by big waves tomorrow if you can hear it. Alright Jay, same goes for you. Uh, first contest out here at Pipe. You've had a couple, probably a couple more good sessions out there. You know, I mean, no, no offense. Because he's had a couple better sessions. Uh, so, you know, um, are you starting to feel more comfortable? Like every time you go out, does it feel like you learn something? Uh, definitely. Um, the more time you spend out there, you're just going to learn every, uh, something like every time. Um, you just got to put in time there I think. It's just every year you get a bit more confident in yourself and learn a little few little things. I learned a lot last season or last year so um, yeah coming back here now is I feel like I've got a good grip on the wave. I've got a few little tactics but um, I've never 
never surfed a heat out there, so it'll be interesting to see how I go. And um, yeah, I mean, to surf out there with three other guys will be a good, a good chance to get a couple of real good waves. Definitely, definitely. All right, guys, good luck in the contest. Um, three things: just watch out for the reef. Yeah. Watch out for the waves and watch out for the locals. Apparently they're pretty good out there. Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys uh, back down at the beach at Pipeline.